What do you think of my kit? I like. It's too good. It was cheap too. It's from Temu. Oh, I love Temu. And that's actually the sponsor of today's video. We got a lot of goodies from Temu, actually. Unfortunately, they don't make gear for women. They don't. But for the boys out there, they do sell a lot of gear at unbeatable prices. Owning dirt bikes is just one expense, but being able to wear proper gear is a completely different story, and that stuff adds up really quick. Now, like I mentioned in the first integration that we did, go ahead and spend money on the important things, your helmet, boots, knee guards, all the things that really matter. As far as jerseys and pants, don't waste your money. Buy stuff on clearance when you can, and if you wanna buy it new, Temu is actually a really good place, and I've liked the gear that I've tried out so far. So all this stuff on the table is new, but I've actually been wearing this entire kit for a handful of rides now, three, four rides. This is amazing. Gale Lewis Force Winds just blowing us away. So not only do they have dirt bike gear, but they also have accessories for your bike. Like Tanner said, obviously you'll probably want to spend more money on the more protective quality parts, but Temu offers a lot of easy, fun accessories for the bike or just parts for your garage. Well, we'll get into that. <laughs> Don't want to give a sneak peek. Yeah, as far as the gear goes, they're selling name brand stuff, but take that as face value. We got the full Fast Goose kit. They sell a lot of that on the website. So now we have three kits from Fast Goose. So yeah. we are part of Team Mallard. <laughs> it was funny, but it was funnier than when it hit me. <laughs> okay. And the quality of everything has been pretty okay. I'll notice the jerseys start to fill up and some of the zippers aren't the best quality, but other than that, it looks damn good. And it might even last you a full season, just depending on how much you ride. But I'll have prices of everything we're talking about on the screen as we go. So let's get into this new haul and see what we got. I feel like haul is such a chick term. Yeah. Temu haul. Yeah, we're not going to say that. <laughs> Moving on. What do we have? Let's so, start with gloves. I think I have five pairs of gloves now total you from them. do. Absolutely. These are my favorite. I've been wearing these a lot and they're definitely started to get a little pilled up, but no wear through yet. No holes or anything. And, and for how much they were. I mean, it's kind of hard to pass up. Exactly. So yeah, go ahead. She actually found a pair that matched the Beta and kind of matches the Honda too. Yeah, they fit. Boom. Check them things out. They're a little on the big side, but definitely still usable. I like, I like. To me, they don't feel any different than throwing on any other pair of gloves I have, especially for the first time. So they look good. They're all like minimalist gloves. Like they're super breathable, jersey material, a little bit of grip on the palm. It seems like every glove that I've had is kind of the same build. But I did just buy some gloves from another company that were just like this. Yeah. So I think that might just be how it is nowadays. They're probably made in the same factory, to be honest. <laughs> so I got another pair of gloves representing the DBK brand and uh, Fast Goose. The dirt bike, I want to say clam, but I got to be careful there. That's, <laughs> That's hard. K, yeah, like nothing starts with K. <laughs> the dirt bike kooks. <laughs> yeah, these are sick though. White palms, they're going to get trashed quick, yeah. but for a couple rides, they'll look really good on the Honda. Good thing you don't crash as much as I do. Yeah, we all go down. I just crashed here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Man down! On oh, my bike. Yeah, Maybe on her it's just bike. my bike. Cursed. All right, other than that, we got a new kit from Fast Goose. The all black, a little bit of topo on there. You like your topo. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie, this is pretty fire. I'll definitely be rocking this. And then yet another pair of Fast Goose pants. Boom. So these are pretty similar. They're almost identical. These yeah. just had green stitching on them and I actually painted over that. So you can't see that anymore. But it's meant to match the green on this. Yeah, it matches the jersey. These are camo underneath and then you have topo on some of the sides here. So you got a Velcro patch on the rear, Velcro patch on the leg. Look pretty sick. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Be careful with the zippers. Mm -hmm. Just testing them out. Feel pretty quality. Yeah. Even have the velcro to put hip pads on oh yeah not even bad not bad at all so that was all the apparel i wanted to get some other things that you might need for the shop so i went ahead and got a full zip tie kit a bunch of different sizes i use zip ties almost daily they are so many good uses for zip ties and you can never have enough i always end up running out somehow and have to buy more so looks like a hundred per bag we got 800 zip ties here that should last a while and what else do we have here okay we've got a fork seal cleaning tool i think i found that yeah, and these are actually handy to have. I did a whole video making one myself years ago, and a lot of people didn't know about it, but 
Most of the time, you do not need to replace your fork seals. That is completely blown out of proportion. There's usually just a little bit of dirt that gets wedged up in there, and you take a tool like this, this one actually has a measurement on here, 45 to 55 millimeter fork. You could do less because this is going to squeeze down. But you just slide the sharp end up in there and it's plastic, so it's not going to damage your seal. And then you push up and scoop down all the material that's in there. And you'll be surprised how much will come out even if your fork seal is not leaking. So maybe every other time you wash your bike, just go ahead and run this through and your fork seals will last pretty much forever. You remember the 250L? Yes. I blew my fork seals out so many times and was always able to bring them back to life. Yeah, so that just slides right off the black piece. Yeah, so this is just Perfect. a holder and then this goes around the fork, clamp it in, push it up, and the way that is hooked right there, it'll just suck the dirt right out of there. Easy money. That's mine. <laughs> Yeah, so I actually have one of these too on my 250F. I broke it already, so I don't know. We'll have to fight for this one. But yeah, I really enjoy having these. If you're gonna spend 500 plus dollars on an exhaust, the first time you lay it down. I already did that. On her beta, first ride, dumped it. Yep, sure did. I don't wanna talk about it. She scratched up her whole FMF <sighs> sticker and yeah, it was a whole ordeal. This probably would have saved it. I have one on mine and it saved my pipe. It's a good, cheap insurance. Some people might not wanna rock it for the looks whatever i think it's functional and works pretty damn good to be honest just uses a big hose clamp on the back i actually wrapped one inch duct tape around my pipe so the metal didn't scratch it up and that worked perfectly and this has got a nice rubber back to it so it stays in place but yeah good little cheap way to protect your bike especially for your super moto bros out there laying it down on the street you definitely want to have these all right, what else do we got? Ooh, I was excited for this. this. I know. This is a collapsible parts tray. So the whole bottom is magnetic here. If you have a slim tool drawer on your toolbox, this will fit in there. You don't have to take up one of your larger drawers. That might be a good use case scenario. Travel, if you don't want to take up a lot of room in your gear bag. This is a good thing to have. And yeah, these are a must when you're taking apart your bike, especially if you're not in a shop setting or you're working in a more dirty environment. It's really easy to lose little bolts and fasteners. So just put everything in here. You're not gonna lose it. Even if it's not something that's magnetic, the sides on here are tall enough to keep everything contained. Oh yeah. Got the Gucci shades looking fly. There we go. Good. Yeah, so we got a pair of sunglasses too. So I am huge on not spending money on sunglasses. That is one thing that I will not splurge for, for the simple fact they're super easy to break. The amount of times that they've flown off my head while riding or running or biking. Boating. Boating, and it hurts a little bit more when you're spending a lot of money on sunglasses. So that's definitely something that I don't mind cheaping out on. And to be honest, they're probably all made in the same factory and they look pretty sick regardless. They do, so, they look good on you. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be rocking these. Nice little nose piece on there. Yeah. I got a small head and it actually fits my frame pretty it good. It sure does. They don't stick out really far. That's a win. That was a good buy. I'm also excited for this. Yeah, last but not least, what's in the bag? Any guesses? I can tell you that it's not motorcycle related. That's what I was gonna say. It's not really part of the theme, but it is useful for us. So how easy is this gonna be to set up? Ooh, it it's super lightweight. Pretty easy. Oh yeah, this looks super easy. We got a table. This is a lightweight folding camp table, all aluminum. What do you think? I think it's pretty sturdy, especially just to put drinks on the campfire, s'more stuff. You can even strap this thing to the bike. It's lightweight enough. It's not going to take up a lot of room and bring it to the campsite with you if you're doing a little moto camping. Not a bad investment. Not bad at all. For how yeah. cheap it is. It's a good size. Yeah, it is. It is. I think this is the biggest size, actually. I ordered the large size. And height-wise, I feel like if you're sitting in a camp chair, it's good. Hi, you'll be part of the outro. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up the latest Temu haul. Woo! Yeah, another one. They pay me pretty well, so if they're going to keep doing that, I'm going to keep making these videos. So drop all the hate comments you want. Your sunglasses block out the haters. Yeah, man, we got the hater vision. <laughs> well, we certainly had fun. We got some goodies out of it. And we're pretty excited to use them. Yeah. Obviously, Tanner's all decked out. <laughs> Dude, this kid is sick. I'll definitely be rocking this till I can't wear it anymore. Well, be sure to use my code if you're interested in any of the products that we have shown. Temu has all kinds of bonus prizes and free gifts that they give you while using the app. And we've even used it for other things in our personal life. So it's definitely real, it's legit. You can find some amazing deals and yeah. Be sure to check the link out in the description. One thing that is nice is that it is free returns on your first big return. So no harm, no foul. 
Yeah, and it's what, 60 days? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 60 day return versus, you know, Daddy Bezos, 30. <laughs> yeah, they've got some decent policies and we'll see how long they're around. Thanks for watching. Always remember to live free. And adventure daily. We'll see you in the next one. That's a wrap. Cool. That's a vidya. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Jeez, what are you doing? You're digging and laying. I want you to get into something hot. <laughs> laying some embers. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you going to sleep? Are you going to sleep with Dom and Jenny? Huh? These zip ties oh can suck, by the way. Do they? I literally broke two with minimal <laughs> effort. You broke two of them? Yeah. Just using them? Yeah. I literally was just barely pulling on them and they broke. Do you think I could just break one in half with my hands? Doubt it. I probably could. No. Ouch. Let me try. <laughs> <laughs> you should have done that on camera. Wait, are we still filming? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That's a Temu table. You're a bulldozer, man. You are a bull Why is he like a, there's an invisible fence out front here? What the heck, dude? Come. He's broken. Come. He's like an Come NPC here. Boy. Hey. Come here. There you go. Mr. Thickums. I still don't think he'll come around here. Come. Come. What are you doing? Come. Right here. Are you camera shy? <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh. Cut the camera off, for for Temu Hall. <laughs> That's going in there. Oh, God. This is spooky. What is spooky? You? What? You? No.